Hi, my name is Sangeet Kochandra. I am a PhD candidate at the Eindhoven University of Technology, the Netherlands. In this talk, I will describe our work, a functional safety assessment method for cooperative automotive architecture. This work is co-authored with Niels Rood, R. R. Kapasaberi, Luke Leofas, Ian Chadatsurin, and Mark Vandenbrand. Automotive is a $5 trillion industry. Cooperative driving refers to multiple vehicles and infrastructure working together seamlessly as a part of a single system, forming a system of systems. Cooperative driving offers features such as dynamic routing, in which traffic can be rerouted based on congestion, and system-wide braking, that is, which can stop a set of vehicles. These features are crucial for traffic optimization, comfort, and safety. And as of now, vehicles with cooperative driving capabilities are entering from prototype to production phase. Our paper tackles two challenges relating to the safety of cooperative driving. One, how to derive and allocate safety requirements for the functional architecture of cooperative driving systems. Once we have the requirements, how to assess whether the requirements are fulfilled in the software architecture of participating vehicles. Cooperative systems are heterogeneous with multiple types of vehicles, example cars and trucks from different manufacturers, and infrastructure like traffic lights. All the participating entities have their architecture and a cooperative architecture which they form together. A major challenge in eliciting safety requirements in such systems is that failure in one system can cascade to other cooperating vehicles. Another challenge is how to handle the complexity of systems of systems. Our solution is to identify safety requirements for the entire cooperating system and allocate them to the individual functional components within each system. In simple terms, we use cooperative use case to identify hazardous situations and goals to avoid these hazardous situations. Then we propose creating a cooperative system functional architecture made of the functional components of the participants and use it to derive safety requirements for the functional components of the individual system. Note that this is not a replacement for traditional safety requirement elicitation for each individual vehicle, rather complements it. Our method builds on current industry guidelines and practices. We applied our method to an academic prototype capable of autonomously forming a train of vehicles with only the leading vehicle in the vehicle train driven by a human. Our analysis showed that 48% of the safety requirements relate to the cooperative driving system. That said, not all requirements are equal. Some have higher priorities than others. Our study further adds that the requirements of low priority in an individual vehicle can transform into a requirement of high priority when considering the cooperative system. Moving on to the second challenge, that is how to assess whether the requirements are fulfilled in the software architecture of participating vehicles. Requirements are of no value if not used or cannot be used in the assessment of resulting system. An epitome of this is the unfortunate accident of Uber self-driving vehicle, which lead to death of a pedestrian. The investigation by National Highway Safety Authority from the United States revealed that the vehicle recognized the pedestrian but decided not to act despite enough safety margins for braking or evasive maneuvers. The host vehicle from Volvo also had been equipped with these safety features but it was overridden by the Uber software. Here the safety requirement that the identification of pedestrian in a planned path shall lead to actions avoiding a crash on the pedestrian is not fulfilled by the software. To assess the safety requirements in the software architecture of individual vehicles, we used two architecture abstractions, 
functional architecture and technical architecture. The functional architecture is used to check whether any pair of safety requirements are contradictory. The technical architecture in contrast is used for an ATAM inspired requirement assessment to identify evidence for the fulfillment of each of the requirements in the technical architecture of the vehicles. Our method is tailored to automotive settings but is generalizable to any multidisciplinary project. We applied the proposed method to the final technical architecture of our academic prototype. We found that only 23% of safety requirements for cooperative driving are satisfied in their technical architecture, showing the efficacy of the proposed method. In summary, this paper tackles two challenges with respect to architecture and safety in the context of cooperative driving. One, deriving and allocating safety requirements for the functional architecture of cooperative driving systems. And two, checking the assessment of these requirements in the final system architecture. We applied our method to a cooperative driving use case on a real life prototype. The results showed the efficacy of our method. However, this is not a silver bullet. The scalability of our approach and the verification of safety requirements on the infrastructure like traffic lights and related domains like cybersecurity and hardware topology needs further research. Thank you for listening. I am Sangeet Gochandra signing off here. Should you have any questions, feel free to ask me soon or after the talk or contact me at sgochandra at tv.nl. Soon, I will be graduating. I am in the job market now. Bye.